Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, as we read more about um, the um, new feature that's going to come on some really powerful PCs with NPUs called Recall, of course there's a lot of comments on the channel that a lot of people are kind of a little worried about, you know, the data and all the, the information that it will be uh, checking out and reading and, and, and you know, all the... Uh, possible infringement on privacy that a lot of people see. Uh, once again, Microsoft did say that uh, they uh, are not uh, doing anything with the data or sending it anywhere. It's really on your PC. And, um, you know, for for the rest of what you believe is what you believe, but um, I got no worries with that personally. Um, what's interesting with the recall feature, and I uh, more I read about it, the more you see the power of AI and NPUs, is that everything that displays on your screen, anything that you'll open, you will actually derive from um, AI, you know, will be checking it out, the pictures that are on the web browser, if you're using Word or you're using different software, um, it will be possible for it to actually analyze what's on the screen at every moment, which is kind of very interesting. Um, and we learned also that there's a minimum requirement for Copilot plus PC um, and with recall to happen. And it's a NPU that is capable or a, a, a PC that's capable of 40 trillion operations per second or more. Uh, right now, the only one that qualifies really is the Snapdragon X Elite from Qualcomm because of its power. So, um, of course, you know, AMD and Intel will have chips with NPUs on it. Um, more and more of these will be powerful. And at some point, I would guess that the Copilot Plus PCs will also join the Intel and AMD, but for now, they're really reserved for Qualcomm only. So it is really a different thing. You know, we, we look at Copilot when we, uh, we uh, have looked at Copilot for months now, and, you know, we're always kind of wondering, you know, well, it's not that fast, not that powerful. Um, and I think that's the difference, is the difference between a chat GPT-like um, AI, which is an online thing and always has to have interaction and connectivity to a basically a recall feature that does not require the internet. It does it on its own. It does it locally on the machine. Um, truly a big step ahead, I think, in computing. Uh, some, of course, of the comments are, well, it's more scary than exciting. Um, personally, I find it more exciting than scary. But, you know, it depends on e each of us. And, of course, there's implication. You know, we think about all the data and all the, the processing that's going to go in the background on your PC. And um, we'll see where all of that brings us, I guess, uh, in a near future. But for me, it's something pretty interesting right now. And for a few of you have mentioned that you kind of find it kind of cool. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.